Hi everybody! It is Friday, January 17th, and I am just bringing you a little video update about my progress toward my 2014 goals with Beachbody. And the first thing I want to talk about today is the fact that I went to a conference, a teaching conference in Philadelphia, and I learned a lot of different things about seeing the big picture. And I thought it was really, really going to be something that I can implement into my classes um, in terms of concept maps and getting my students to see the links between um, everything that they're learning right now and how that is going to be applicable in life. So I had posted on Facebook uh, that I was at a teaching conference and one of my former students actually wrote underneath, um, we'll learn how to you know, teach us how to be rich <laughs> and make money. She said, I haven't learned any of that yet. And what I wrote underneath back to her was, you know, there are pretty much three steps. You want to work hard every single day. Um, you want to have a plan. You want to be working on that plan consistently each day, taking steps, at least three steps, um, towards that goal, your eventual goal and lifestyle. Now, it doesn't have to be big steps, it could be small steps, as in creating a to-do list, and that kind of brought me into what I wanted to talk about a little bit right now, about what I've been doing, and I think something that um, will help a lot of people, and that is listening to this. This is Shalene Johnson's Car Smart, and it's based on her Success Academy program, which I'm also going to be attending in the spring. And in this, I learned so many things that have made my life a lot easier, and it's allowed me to give myself permission for certain things as well. First thing she talks about is that in order to be successful, you have to create the to-do list and you have to follow it. And, you know, in our challenges and exercise programs that we devise, I always give people a list of what to do daily what they should be eating, what exercises they should be performing in order, um, what would work best for them. So the thing is everything is pretty much the same in life. Um, if we constantly work from a to-do list and we follow it and we make those small steps every single day and not think of it as oh this huge overwhelming goal yes we want to have a big concept map and a big vision but taking those small steps is the key to actually making that vision come to fruition and that's what I've learned is that even in exercising progress is better than perfection as long as you're moving towards something so what I've done this week so far, I thought I would keep you guys updated on my progress, particularly. In the beginning of the week, um, toward my business, I made a Flipagram video. And a Flipagram is something you can just get downloaded on your um, phone. It's an app. And pretty much you can make a collage of photos and add music to it. So I did that for my next upcoming fitness challenge that's going to be starting in February, February 3rd. Next thing I did after that was I was consistently checking in with my current challenge groups, uh, what they're doing, um, seeing how their progress was going with their particular uh, programs that I had devised with them. And today is Friday, so most everyone in my challenge groups will either be weighing in and taking measurements today or one day this weekend so they can see some progress and I always make sure I follow up with them on a daily basis in those groups and give them a lot of motivation and assess where they are so that I can make some changes to what they're doing. So that's pretty much what I've been doing all week in that area. In the other area, and again, I want to reference this, I hired a personal assistant. Now a lot of people might think, oh my gosh, she must have money to hire a personal assistant. I have no money. <laughs> None. But what I have learned from this is that if you can have help and if you can determine your own net worth, what you are worth on an hourly basis with all of the things that you do, then having a personal assistant is justifiable because in actuality, the time that you're saving by paying someone else to do tasks such as 
clean your house, and, and I'm just talking broad, it could be anything that you personally feel overwhelmed with that you know that someone else could do, uh, but you're just either afraid to live up, leave, you know, give up the control or you're afraid to spend the money. Um, but what I have learned is that I hired an amazing personal assistant <laughs> who was able to clean my house better than I ever could <laughs> and shop for me. And the thing is, it has made my life already so much easier because I know that I'm going to be so overwhelmed this semester with teaching four different courses, doing research, writing grants, trying to improve my teaching in the meantime, going to conferences, presenting papers, and working on my business from a list. So it is okay, and that's what I learned from this. It's okay to have someone else help you out with the day-to-day -day things, once a week things that you would normally have to allot certain time to, but you know that it's gonna take some time. You know it's going to take you a couple hours, possibly, at least, to clean your house. You know it's going to take you, you know, a half hour to an hour to go to the store, depending on how far the store is from you. Closest store to me is about 15, 20 minutes away. So, you know, by the time I get there, get back, and, you know, get everything done, it's hour and a half, possibly, um, each, each time I go. So, I think that if you are spending that time doing productive things, and I could be adding extra hour and a half to my business, extra hour and a half to research, extra hour and a half to prepping for my lessons, then yes, I am actually saving money because I am making progress toward my goals. So that was what I wanted to share with you today was the big thing. Um, I don't have money for that, technically, <laughs> but in the long run, it will allow me to probably make more money because I'll be able to devote more time to the people that I want to help. So keeping that in mind and, and being able to devote that energy into what it is that you're trying to really accomplish and your purpose, um, that's going to be key. So I'm justifying it. And I think that this is a great tool for anyone who wants to learn how to organize their life. And I'm going to be implementing a lot of these tools throughout the next year and following it and really just looking at things from a different way than I've always done them in order to um, progress, in order to get better. So for any of the moms out there, dads out there, people who have, you know, people who have kids and who have a much more complicated life than I have in terms of they have to work and take care of a family. I encourage you to get a personal assistant. <laughs> so that's been a big thing for me. Um, and it even could be something within your own little business that you're doing yourself. Um, it could be somebody who's going to handle your social media for you or somebody who is going to be able to um, you know, answer emails, whatever it is that you think could be delegated to someone else. And that's the biggest thing is learning how to delegate, whether it's to somebody that you're going to pay or it's going to be somebody that within your own household that you can delegate to. I think that that is an important component to realize that, yes, you can do it. Of course you can do it. But why would you want to do it if you know that a lot of your energy and time could be spent working towards what it is you think your purpose is and being more productive and in the long run that helping you so those are my little tidbits for today of what i've been doing this week um i also with my um team my uh beach body team of coaches that i have uh, organized we are going to be entering the Beachbody Team Cup, and that starts February 1st, and it goes throughout the entire month of February. So I organized a Google Hangout with them yesterday, and we all talked about our goals and what we want to do and how many people we want to talk to and help and invite to our challenges and, you know, see them progress, and it's going to be really exciting. And um, 
we really got fired up about it because the five of us are going to be working together and bringing challengers into a group for a March 3rd challenge and it'll be a 30 day but throughout the entire month of February we're going to be recruiting people to do this challenge and have all five of us help them so you have five coaches five people who have done beach body programs are currently working on their bodies or currently working on their health and fitness to get it better um, you have five people who are familiar with the process who are going to help you so it was really neat and exciting to have everybody on a hangout yesterday my coaches and talking about that so be on the lookout for that that's coming up soon and um, I think that is all that I have to bring you for right now so my biggest word of advice is for you to organize get the vision first break it down into bigger steps that you're gonna have to take of what you want to accomplish and then break those steps down into smaller daily tasks that you can do um, and it could just be something that's really 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 small like sending an email to someone you know that it is a very small thing but it's something that has to be done so that you can forward your business or you can forward your life uh, so doing that trying not to see it as an overwhelming thing oh I, I I don't have an hour or two hours to devote to that a day might not be an hour or two hours that you have to devote to your business per day it could be two seconds that you get those three things done that will advance you towards your goal so those are my suggestions and what I've been doing this week getting myself ready for the start of the semester next week next Wednesday is my first day so that's usually when all the mayhem starts um, but for me that's the fun part too um, having a new class new beginnings and teaching people and hopefully making their lives a little bit better and making the lives of the people in my challenges a little bit better so have a great weekend everybody and I will be bringing you another update within the next couple of days to let you know what I did this weekend toward achieving my goals. Okay, talk to you soon. Thanks. Have a good one.